Okay. So good day. Let me introduce you to our presentation about gating portal. Uh, let me ask you a question. Is uh, there anybody here with some previous experience with uh, portlets and portals? I see the whole portal team. Oh, so many of you. That's great. Because uh, the main goal of this presentation is to provide you some basic information about the gating and about the portals in general. So for so those of you who don't know about this, it will be uh, good. Uh, if you have any questions, please remember them and leave them for the end of the presentation. There will be questions and answers section. So uh, let me go through the agenda quickly. After this introduction, uh, I will tell you something about portals in general and about portlets. After that, I will uh, tell you something about the gating portal, its features. And uh, then Mr. Posolda will show you the live demo, how to uh, convert uh, JSF2 application into JSF2 portlet. After that, there will be a conclusion with questions and answers section. So what's, what's a portal, what's portlet? Uh, basically, the main function of a web portal is to aggregate and integrate content. By content, in this context, I mean Java applications, which are called portlets. On the image uh, on right, you can see a typical portal page consisting of four portlets. Uh, very common analogy to portal and portlets is a desktop with some window manager, where uh, portlets are like applications on your desktop which are in Windows, you can maximize them, minimize them. Each of uh, them has some settings, uh, dialogue, some help screen. The same applies to portlets. Portlets have uh, special mode for settings, special mode for uh, help screen, and you can minimize, maximize them, place them on the screen. Uh, what will you gain? if you uh, place uh, so many applications into one web page uh, is, for example, that you will need just one request to uh, get them all. The gating portal is a project which we develop uh, in here in JBoss. And uh, it's the synergy of two projects, the JBoss portal and the ExoPort portal, which is called ExoPlatform, I guess. It complies to Java specification request for portlets version 1 and portlets version 2. Uh, and it uses the best from both portals. So for example, from the JBoss portal, uh, we took uh, IDM and WSRP. From the ExoPlatform, we took great uh, front-end and JCR implementation. And of course, it's free and open source, so everybody can join and work on the project. Uh, on the screenshot, you can see the current version, which is 3.5. This is how it looks like. So uh, gating has many uh, great features. Uh, I will go through them by details, but it's like IDM, SSO, WSRP. I think we can skip this slide and get to the point. Okay, so uh, gating portal use Picketlink IDM for the identity management. Uh, with uh, Picketlink IDM, you can basically create, remove, modify users, groups, and roles. Groups uh, can be ordered in hierarchical manner. So you can uh, model your company with groups. 
and you can assign a user to uh, a group with a role. So for example, I would be a software engineer, or that would be my role in the group JBoss, which, which will be a subgroup of group Red Hat. And at the same time, I can have a role of being a presenter uh, in the group of DevConf. Uh, Picketlink IDM has uh, support for LDAPs. So if you have your company structure already uh, modeled in your LDAP, you can use it with our portal. Another uh, fundamental feature of the gate-in is the single sign-on, which is a method for access control. You log in only once and you gain access based on the restrictions to the whole portal. So for all pages and all uh, portlets or resources. We support many single sign-on solutions, like you can see here. The slide, what is cool is that we plan OAuth uh, support, uh, which is used in Facebook and Google Plus. So this will be pretty cool. Another feature is uh, web services for remote portlets. WSRP, uh, it's um, OSIS approved uh, standard for network protocol for communications uh, for remote portlets. We support uh, both versions, WSRP 1 and 2. Uh, what it does, basically, it's uh, like a server client uh, stuff. You have a producer server which will provide you some portlets, which you can use remotely on your consumer. So you can deploy some portlets in, in your server and your customers or whoever can use these portlets and add them to his page. And he uh, won't, the user won't know uh, that he's using remote portlets. It will behave the same way as it was deployed on his server. You can ask yourself if it's secure. Okay, it is secure, of course, because we are using WS security, which is an extension to SOAP for applying security for web services. And uh, there is an example with, with this solution, you can uh, deploy portlet on Microsoft SharePoint or LifeRay and then add it to your page on gating and vice versa. Uh, another feature is the personalization. Each user can have his own dashboard where he can put gadgets uh, and portlets. Gadgets are basically just uh, small JavaScript applications. Here you can see some basic like calculator, calendar, to-do list, or uh, RSS uh, reader. But uh, you can add portlets there as well. Uh, okay. The gate-in portal is fully skinnable. You can uh, provide your own skin for the portal itself, for, for portlets, or for portlets decorations. This is a project we did on uh, in JBoss, or my colleague did as his master thesis on school. It's called QView. Uh, skinning uh, does support uh, sub, uh, support for right to left uh, languages like Arabic languages. So basically, you just uh, annotate uh, some CSS rules to be used uh, with such languages. And if you are missing uh, JavaScript in your skin,